Crossovers and SUV are two of the fastest growing segments in the industry today. And each one of them meron silang pros and cons and titignan natin kung ano ang mga ito ngayon and which one is best for you. For this video, we chose the Ford Everest and the Cherry Tigo 8 because tingin namin, they represent their respective segments well. So first, what is a crossover? A crossover is a crossover of an SUV and a sedan. So ibig sabihin, meron siyang looks ng SUV, yung overall itsura niya, yung height niya, pero yung drivability niya is parang sa sedan. And then, another main difference din dito is that it is a unibody, which means they're built as a whole. For the SUV naman or the sports utility vehicle, ang difference niya is that mostly mas malaki siya and mas mataas siya compared sa crossovers. And then, yung platform niya is body on frame, dun sa isa naman is unibody. So kaya siya body on frame, it is based on the chassis of a pickup. So itong Ford Everest ay Ford Ranger. So fun fact lang, di ba ang Ford Explorer? We refer to it as SUV. Tama naman siya pero mas appropriate siya na tawagin na crossover. Kasi it's a unibody na vehicle. So first, let's talk about the pros and cons of a crossover. So ang pros niya, sa crossover, una, okay yung aerodynamics because uh, it is uh, sedan-like and it's lighter as well. Tapos, pag pupunta ka naman sa car wash, it's cheaper to have it clean. And kapag ikaw naman sarili nagugas, it's easier to clean as well kasi you can reach even the roof na without having any trouble, di ba? Another pro of the crossover is that it's sleek, sporty, and stylish. Makikita nyo naman dito sa Cherry Tigo 8, it has LED headlights and a sleek and stylish na grille. And unlike sa SUVs, where you need to get to the higher variants muna before you can get features like this one, the LED headlights, di ba? Sa cons naman tayo. So sinabi ko nga, di ba, na this one is lower. So, hindi siya advisable na dinadala sa mga heavy off-roading. And even if you have an all-wheel drive vehicle, just like the Subaru Forester, it's still not advisable because they're not built for that. And since sinabi ko nga na mababa siya, the water wading capacity is also very low. Or sometimes, hindi naman ganun ka low, but it's still not uh, suitable na ilusong sa baha. And then, most crossovers, makikita natin na meron silang black cladding dito. And, for this vehicle, hindi naman siya pangit. Pero sa iba, it looks trying hard. Let's move on to the SUV. For its pros, the SUV is higher. So, mas okay siya dalin sa mga off-roading. Plus, since it's higher, the water wading capacity is also higher. It, this one, it has an 800mm water wading capacity. Tapos, sa itsura pa lang niya sa labas, it's uh, rugged and sporty. So, maganda siya tignan. Tapos, most people want to buy that kind of vehicle dahil gusto nila yung feeling na mas mataas sila kaysa sa iba. Di ba kayo na sa crossover, sabi ko na nilalagyan nila ng black cladding dito sa gilid to look sporty. Pero pagdating dito sa mga most SUVs, hindi na nila nilalagyan ng black cladding dito because it already looks sporty at rugged. So okay na okay siya. So sa cons naman tayo ng SUVs. Ang first con niya is related sa pro ng crossover. So, which is yung height niya. So, since mataas nga siya, it's hard to reach yung roof kapag ikaw sarili maglilinis. And then, kapag dadali mo naman sa car wash, uh, mas mahal siya ang babayaran mo. And then, another thing is that, kapag may kasama kayo matatanda, mas mahihirapan sila na umakyat. Mostly yan, nahihirapan kasi it's higher. For the interior of the crossovers naman, for its pros are, yung interior, maganda yung interior niya. You can see na mukha siyang sedan. Thus, it looks modern. Just like this one, meron siyang soft-touch plastics and meron siyang leather. Tapos, meron siyang infotainment system na malaki compared sa mga ibang SUVs na ngayon lang sila nagkakaroon ng mga big screens sa loob. And then, it has a 360 cam. Just like, ayan. Na, konti pa lang sa mga SUVs yung nagkakaroon these days. So, mas nauna sila mga crossovers. So, the main pros of the crossovers are found on the second row, which is the space. So, you can see, my legroom is big and I have a wide headroom. Tapos, most crossovers, meron pa silang panoramic sunroof. So, it makes the second row and the first row brighter. 
Tapos mostly sa mga nasakyan kong crossovers, mas comfortable talaga dito sa second row because uh, it's big. And kaya naman mas malaki yung space dito sa second row because the truck based uh, chassis is not found here. Wala siya dito kaya yung absence noon is napalitan naman siya ng space para dito sa interior. So another pro of the crossover is the space dito sa third row. So just like this one, uh, spacious dito sa likod kasi yung mga components nga ng truck chassis is wala na dito. Pero most crossovers are only 5 seaters. So kapag meron man crossovers na may third row, yung iba masikip. And since crossovers are mostly 5 seaters, walang air vents dito sa likod. Kaya yun lang, medyo mainit siguro for some passengers. Unlike SUVs na they always have air vents on the third row. So now let's move on to the SUV. For the interior of the SUV, you can see na the design of the dashboard and everything here in front is simple and straightforward. Wala siya mga soupy designs like the crossovers. Tapos, uh, makikita mo na parang the build quality is nice kasi they added mga ganitong soft touch na leather dito sa taas, sa dashboard. Pero sa doors, they maintained it na naka-plastic pa rin. Tapos, you get a good view of the road in front of you kasi nga mas mataas siya compared to sa crossover. For the second row of SUVs, yung sa legroom niya smaller and then sa headroom is also smaller. Tapos sa sunroof, the Everest has sunroof pero sa top of the line variant lang. Tapos for the Montero, meron din siyang sunroof pero sa top of the line variant din and they're quite pricey. Tapos some SUVs din, wala silang sunroof at all. And then when it comes to comfort naman dito sa second row, some SUVs are comfortable to sit on. The some SUVs, uh, sakto lang yung comfort niya, unlike sa mga crossovers. Here in the third row, this is the case for most, if not all, yung sa foot room niya. So, sakto-sakto lang dito. The space is, uh, hindi siya ganun kalaki. And this is best reserved for children only. For me, ah, pang children lang siya. Tapos, uh, the SUVs in the Philippines are guaranteed to have third row seats. And dito, mas mataas yung seats compared sa crossovers kasi nga, yung wheel well nandiyan sa gilid tapos meron siyang mga truck chassis sa ilalim. Let's start the test drives by driving the Cherry crossover. So mga crossover, they feel sportier when driving unlike sa SUVs na they feel uh, heavier at saka yung suspension, mas okay pag sa crossovers kasi yung sa SUV, uh, mas mataas siya, so mas bouncy. Tapos, pag sa crossovers, Diba, it's a uh, sedan based. So kapag uh, when you drive it, mas mababa ang center of gravity, mas less ang body roll. Unlike pag sa SUV, pag mas mataas, higher center of gravity, mas may tendency ang body roll. The maneuverability of the crossover is quite good. Mas mabilis siya i-turn dahil nga because of its size. Crossovers are easier to drive in general kasi it's lighter compared sa SUV. Yung SUV diba heavier. Fuel efficient din. Yun nga, sinabi ko kanina, it's lighter. Tapos yung mga engines nga ngayon, meron siya ng turbocharged engines. Mm, pero sa mga SUVs naman, humahabol din sila kasi some has uh, new engines. Pero mostly is uh, diesel pa rin. So, mas maingay konti compared sa mga crossovers. Crossovers, mas tahimik ang mga engines nila because it's a uh, gas. Kung meron man konting mga diesel, um, hindi si pa rin sila ganun kaingay. Most crossovers nowadays, marami nang may 360 degrees cameras. Unlike pag sa mga SUVs, mga top of the line variants lang yung may available and they cost more. Now, lipat naman tayo sa SUV to see how it uh, performed and paano natin siya compare with the crossover. Ngayon, nandito na tayo sa Everest and as you can see, sa mga SUVs, uh, they can go through almost all kinds of terrain pati sa mga baha, kaya din nila um, crossovers can do it too uh, for example, yung Tigo 8 it has 600 millimeters of water wading depth while the Everest has 800 millimeters of water wading depth naman so, parang dun pa lang, masasabi mo na talagang kaya niya pag sa mga ganong klaseng conditions sa mga crossovers naman they usually don't have uh, flood rating while sa SUVs, even though some walang flood rating, pero mas sure ka, mas alam mo na it can go through sa mga floods. Now, without uh, any, hindi ka mag-hesitate, hindi ka kakabahan na, ay, 
baka mamaya pasukan na ako ng tubig or tumirig ako like that. Sa mga SUV, it's usually medyo matagtag compared sa crossovers. Pero not all naman na sobrang tagtag. Marami din magaganda yung uh, ride comfort, ride quality just like this one, the Everest. In the city, masarap i-drive yung mga ganitong SUV because uh, of its size. Di ba, mid-size lang usually yung mga ganito. And sakto lang yung size niya for um, ganitong city. While yung sa crossovers, syempre, mas masarap sila i-drive because nga, they're smaller. Tapos, mas mabilis sila i-maneuver. Pero yung mga ganito, um, best talaga siya pag ano ka, pupunta ka ng mga out of town, sa mga far places nakakailanganin mo ng stronger power and yung kaya yung mga iba-ibang klaseng terrain. This kind of vehicle is a go-to anywhere na sasakyan. So, mas okay siya gamitin because, uh, yun nga, kaya niya yung almost all kinds of terrain. Although, sa mga crossovers, they have uh, mga capabilities na like, like the same as the SUVs na pwede sa off-road, iba pa rin kapag talagang SUV yung ginagamit mo because uh, it can bring you to any destination that you want. And one thing pala, ang mga SUVs, they're mostly diesel. So, um, medyo yun, maingay siya yung engine noise niya kapag naka-idle ka or sometimes kapag naga-accelerate ka, mas maingay siya compared sa crossovers. While some crossovers naman, may mga konting diesel, they're not as uh, noisy as the SUVs. Crossovers or SUVs? Well, wala namang perfect vehicle eh. It all depends on what you need and what you want. So if you're the type of person na gusto ng sporty yet maliit tapos easier to drive, okay sa'yo ang crossovers. But if you're the type of person naman na uh, mas outgoing and then mas gusto mo nang mas mataas ka sa ibang tao, then SUV is the perfect one for you. And yun nga, it really depends on what you need and what you want. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't and click the notification icon to be updated on our future videos. And also don't forget to hit like and share.